one we are going to learn about amazon elastic cache so basically amazon elastic cache is a fully managed uh, in memory data store uh, which is used for caching service provided by aws uh, it is actually designed to improvise the performance of application by allowing you to uh, take the data and uh, retrieve the data uh, the in memory data uh, directly from the elastic cache instead of getting it directly from the databases uh, in order to support this statement i would like to demonstrate this specific diagram so if you go through this diagram you can see the application is uh, uh, see there is rds this elastic cache and there is your application so whenever uh, a specific data has been required and the user is uh, requesting for data it will directly first go to elastic cache and check whether data is present or not if not then it will go to rds okay and will provide the data but at the meantime it will store the cache over here so the next time whenever the application will make the request it will directly take from the elastic cache right so basically the below statement uh, defines the same basically application queries the data to elastic cache if available get data from rts and if not get data uh, if if uh, if not available in plastic cache, it will go to RTS. Okay, and that's the thing that it is working at the back end, and it is actually helping you uh, to relieve the load into the RTS because it is directly taking from the cache itself. Okay, and cache is having an individual strategy which is actually making sure that the current data is been uh, present over there, right? So let us go through and actually understand what actually is happening in the back end for Elastic Cache. Okay, Elastic Cache is basically supporting two more open source of caching option that is one is Redis and second is Minicatch, right? So for this specific one, uh, we are going to see Redis. Okay, so let us see what are the uh, features that. Uh, Elastic cache brings us into the plate. First is the caching op option that is obvious because Elastic cache stores frequently accessed data, uh, frequently accessed in memory data, which actually help us in reducing uh, the retrieval rate uh, from the database. Okay. Secondly, uh, due to replication and high availability, it supports uh, uh, architecture where the data is replicated to multiple AZs. Okay, and which is actually helping us to uh, prevent the uh, failovers. Okay, so whenever there is a failover occurs, so it will uh, just take the read replica, and that read replica will be promoted as a primary. Okay, so read replica will be promoted into primary node and this will actually help you into the downtime next is backing up and restore so elastic cache for redis actually allows us to take automatic snapshots for your in-memory data which can be used for disaster recovery or to transfer the data between the environments and actually this can help you to restore redis cluster and uh, from this snapshot we can resume the operation quickly without uh, uh, the failure to be occurring right so what are the use cases so basically database caching uh, you can uh, get the frequently accessed data second is session storage uh, this set session storage uh, can be used for quick access and third is the content caching so basically frequently accessed data that is the static website content or uh, uh, any sort of data can be directly cached directly with the use of elastic cache so yeah that was all about elastic cache and hope this architecture defines and helps you to understand the same uh, so let me uh, get you with the same again so basically the application is trying to retrieve the data from rds okay but before rd it is caching from elastic cache if the data is present it will it is going to uh, provide the data but if not it will directly get it from rds and then the data will be available to the user right so yeah that was all about elastic cache and see you in the next one